For today's recipe, we're going to prepare a delicious chicken soup my way. First, we're going to boil three Guajillo peppers and six Roma tomatoes over medium-high heat. Once it reaches a boil, boil for about five to seven minutes, then remove it from the burner and allow it to cool down. And while we wait for them to cool down, we're going to chop our vegetables. I'm going to use one chayote squash. If you've never used chayote squash, start by removing the center piece of the chayote squash, then cut it into small bite-sized pieces. We're also going to use about three to four carrots, a handful of green beans, and about four ears of corn. You can also add or take away any other vegetables that you prefer. I like to use a lot of vegetables for my soup so it can be nice and hearty. Now that the vegetables are ready, we're going to move on to prepare the chicken. I'm going to use six bone-in chicken thighs, or you can also use drumsticks. I like to use the chicken thighs because they have a lot more meat. I'm going to start out by trimming off the skin and trimming off the excess fat. Then we're going to generously season each piece with salt and pepper front and back. In a large stock pot, heat up a good amount of your preferred cooking oil. Once the oil is nice and hot, add in the chicken and sear for about 5 minutes on each side over medium heat. And while the chicken is cooking, we're going to prepare the sauce by adding the tomatoes to the blender, the chile guajillos, half a white onion, and 3 large garlic cloves. To help blend the ingredients, I'm going to add 2 cups of water from the stock pot or you can add chicken broth. For seasonings, we're going to add 2 tablespoons of chicken bouillon, 1 teaspoon of paprika, and 1 teaspoon of ground coriander. Blend on high until it's nice and smooth and set aside. Once the chicken has a nice sear on both sides, remove it from the stock pot and set it aside. Using the same stock pot, strain in the sauce from the blender. Move it around until all the liquid has gone through the strainer and all you have left is the residue. Discard of the residue and add 6 additional cups of water or chicken broth. Add the chicken back into the stock pot, then add in your vegetables. Simmer over medium-high heat for about 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, give it a taste and if it needs more seasoning, you can adjust it to your taste. Turn down the burner to low-medium heat and simmer for an additional 20-30 to 30 minutes. This is the perfect recipe to enjoy on a cold day. Enjoy by itself or over a bed of red rice. Drizzle with a little bit of lime juice and if you're the type that likes to add a little bit of spice to your food like my husband, top it off with a minced serrano pepper. And now for my favorite part, seeing how my family enjoys this delicious soup. Serve with plenty of homemade corn tortillas on the side. This recipe turned out so delicious that even my teenage grandson approved of it. And enjoy!